you you say you got off the phone with Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, she called uh, Judith, and then Judith said, and Caitlyn wants to talk to you, and I went, I was, I was shaking. <laughs> what do I say? What do I say? <laughs> uh, and and um, so, but but what I what I love about that is that this show has, um, um, it has shed light on a lot of different areas, and that I love the fact that, you know, that uh, what, what Caitlyn did, but also I like the fact that uh, on the second page of the New York Times yesterday there was inf this great article about these young. Uh, uh, young girls uh, who are uh, going to college and are doing these amazing, courageous operations, and 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 they are not Caitlyn Jenner's, <laughs> and and they are regular, uh, uh, um, just uh, work a day uh, people, and um, I think that's that's what's so exciting is that something is something very brilliant has happened, and and this show is not only about that. I'm just but one fifth of this this thing. It's about a family. <laughs> And it's about living in 2015, and the world is changed. Uh, and it's about what will happen if somebody drastically changes in your family. Will you still love them? Will you still support them? Uh, is your love gender free? And I think that's I love what's so. That. That's yeah. a great thing to I think say. That's, uh, I think that's what, what's important. But the Pfefferman family, uh, every, people come up to us and they talk about their family. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what I was going to say. Well, what are some of the reactions you've gotten from fans? But that what, what he's talking about, I just wanted to add one thing to mm -hmm. what Jeffrey said that Jeffrey always talks about is he, he talks about how we are, how this show has had the capacity to save lives. And that article in the New York mm -hmm. Times, and you hear about these young women who are actually doing these brave, incredible things things, they feel that they have support now in ways that they never had before. They were shunted aside and shoved in the shadows, and all of a sudden, there's this world in which they can come out so magnificently. And that's a lot of the response that we've gotten. Yeah. A lot of people come up to us, and what he's saying about the family, it's like everybody in their family has somebody who comes home and says, wait, I haven't been my authentic self. I haven't been courageous. This is who I am. Yeah. And everybody goes, oh, okay. And then all of a sudden you have to shift, just like the Pfeffermans have. When Mora comes out, we have to say, wait, what is my journey now? Mm -hmm. What is my truth now? Mm -hmm. Because every, all the cards are thrown up in the air. And now we have to be able to look at ourselves and say, what and who will we be? But Tell them I've, how you travel, by the way. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do when you travel? What do you do? Tell them what you do on, honey, uh, on honey, the airlines. Honey, why don't you tell them? <laughs> this is his favorite story. It was all over Twitter she, and Condé Nast. When she, <laughs> when she travels, she doesn't like to go to the uh, baggage. So what she does is she wears all the layers at one time. And so people go, wow, Judith has really gained a lot of weight. She's about 500 pounds. And what she has done this is not. Takes, is this true? This yes, is a this true, is true story. This is true. I'm like, I told him about this, and he was like, yeah. what? What do you do? And you I, wear everything you can. <laughs> it's not a pretty story. It's not a pretty story. But the, the truth is that I don't like to go to baggage. I don't often have time to wait. Yes. So I will wear as much as you several can. different <laughs> outfits. Right. And I get on the plane with the outfits, and then I get on, mm -hmm. I have another bag. Isn't and I, that the woman on who's the one? No, no. This is, <laughs> this is so. a fat woman. <laughs> That's what they do. But that this is, no no no. You have to understand something. Saving. This is my life with him, mm -hmm. which I adore. I cherish it. When he said we know each other's moves, he is absolutely right. There is a a, a connection from all these years, and we had it in, from the very yeah. from the very yeah. beginning. And he, we we feel that we're about a Jill too. It I, mean, I, I feel like I I've known. We, we laugh because I feel like I know her from a Russian village it, a thousand years ago. That, this is she from says the, she cuddles up on your lap. She does. Yeah, she does. But, you know, i got to tell you, working with Jill Soloway, it is the safest, most adventurous set you can get. There is no mistake. And I, I, it yeah, seems... How, how is her set different than others that you've worked on? There's no error. No error. You're not wrong. You can't make a mistake ever. Uh, you can always find the set because there's uproarious laughter. Right. Uh, this is a very funny show, by the way. The Pfeffermans are funny. Yeah. Uh, through all this travail, they, they're funny. And uh, when she, st uh, her, the table read yeah. that we had, uh, Judith turned, and what did you say? I said, this is the best table read I've ever been to. And we both agreed in all of our... People were sobbing and laughing and sobbing. 
and yeah. the connections that everybody, and everybody came bringing their A game. Yeah. A lot of times you'll go to a table read and people will just say, hey, wait, hey, whatever. But this yeah. had such depth and breadth. And that, that is also Jill's context because before we start a table read, she will say, I want to take a moment to stop and be in gratitude that we get to do this, that we get to do this story, and that we get to play with each other in this particular way. And we get to save lives. Right. And it's about saving lives. And that, that's right. the bottom. Well, there's laughter, there's tears. Uh, Jill zigs when she zags, mm -hmm. zags when she zigs. But at the end of the day, it's about saving lives because lives are at, at stake. And, and, I, I, and, and, and laughter is the great teacher here. So the, you guys are in um, your golden years. Is that a is that a proper okay, way? Is that a proper way? And we'll be going and golden years. And what do you goodbye. Call it? There what is you nothing call golden. It? Not a golden no, well, part say, of my body. Guess, golden what? Wow. what we were doing so well. Oh my God! Wait, wait, my wow. hair. Wait, wait, my knee gold. hurts. Can oh we get some medication over here? I need a doctor. Is my CPAP? Where's my cane? Hold on. Somebody. Okay. Uh, hemorrhoid cream. Do you have the walker? I got the walker. Wait, Can what, you say what cream would on be TV? The, what would be the sort what of What happened piece? to this interview? <laughs> and guys, I heard you were nice, you, young lady. What is, the, is that not the ni nice way to golden say it? Golden years? It's like golden girls. Is that terrible? Golden girls? You know you're digging I'm yourself. Digging, help, just keep help, going. Help, just keep going. I'm drowning. We're they, in hold the on one second. <laughs> you're in the prime. Hold on. No, no, no. They're not in. They're not in. Let me get this. All right, here we go. Okay. You're in the prime of your career. We are 43. You are in the prime of your career. Prime. But I guess we what are. do these roles mean after years of working in the well, business? When I, <laughs> no, please. No, no, fix What them. I like about it. <laughs> what I like about God. Oh, is God. golden years bad? No, oh, you have to understand. Can this I have is... one more cushion under the ear? I'm sweating. Go ahead. No, yeah. it's funny. Okay. You're uh, in the prime of your not like you are young and beautiful. These roles oh. we both said. We had a little talk in yeah. my dressing room. We both oh, said, yeah. I said, how are you doing? We, we were about to wrap last season, yeah. and we both said how thankful we are. These roles don't come along in a career, yeah. right. let, alone let alone in the golden, golden years. years. I feel like, seriously, I mean. Really? But to be, to and I heard she was nice. Right that's what they said. I'm, oh, she's I great. I am being nice. She's pregnant. That's I'm all. Oh, the hormones. you're so young. It's mom right. brain. It's mommy yes. brain, I right? Blame exactly. everything right. on that. No, okay. one of the things that Jill said she, you know, that is equally as important as the show is that she's creating this set where she's hiring a lot of members of the trans community. Huge. So she's changing policy. The first time that they dressed her Mora we all went to a transgender bar in the valley here in LA. And it was the most remarkable experience. And to see Jeffrey as Mora. Judith was in the parking lot as we Oh my God. Uh, as we drove up. I mean he and out she came and she was so beautiful. That was the first night I met Mel Mora. That's right. And uh, everybody in that bar you talk about generous wow. and, yeah, it was really and appreciative. I mean, we told them what yeah. we were doing. Yeah. We never, ever wanted to be disrespectful or, mm -hmm. or you know, surprise anybody. And they were so extraordinary and yeah. loving on her in the most extraordinary way. And there was this one moment where she said to me, I need to go to the bathroom. And we were walking to the bathroom. And I said, do you need me to come in? And I, he said, she said, I'm okay. And she went to the bathroom. And it's wonderful herself. being my golden years. I have no idea I remember that at all. You don't? Uh, no. Well, that I, might but have that's been the like vodka. the Milwaukee <laughs> story. <laughs> that might have been the vodka. <laughs> uh, I remember dancing. And I also remember going, I was so nervous when I, I walked in. And uh, most of the people were so, uh, uh, were actually uh, thrilled that, Judith Light was <laughs> in the bar. Totally. And they kept going, that's Judith Light. And I went, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, 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 because and, and, they were, and they were beautiful. Yeah, they, they were, were They were great. So beautiful. I mean, inside and out. They came, really uh, Zachary and, and, and Reese came, and, and Jill and, uh, came to a the hotel. A hotel mm -hmm. And we had a big, long, long, long talk. We talked mm -hmm. talk forever. Mm -hmm. And they said, OK. Now well, here, here we go. And we <gasps> made up Mora, and Mora came, you know. Mo did the, the whole thing and like that, and uh, and we put put on her clothes, and 
shaking, walking through the <laughs> lobby, and I'm still staying. I stay in the same hotel room every time I, I come here mm -hmm. because that's Maura's oh, suite. No. Oh, sweet. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's well, so it's not lovely. true. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, well, how much of this is? Actually, yeah. he doesn't remember. No, no, it's He's true. like, I actually Golden have stayed years. in a different hotel. I, it's, I, I, it, is the, it is Maura's suite, and it's my good good luck suite because that's when, mm. when, when she, uh, was, she born. was born. Yeah. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.